Why do we get slower as we age? Why is it so hard to increase our power output in FTP? Well, to date, Father Time is undefeated, unless you understand the science and you learn how to fight back. Today, I'm explaining why we slow down as we age and what to do from a training plan perspective to beat Father Time so you can improve your cycling and start to set some goals that get you excited. What's up, everyone? I'm Coach Frank Overton. Some call me the Big Cat. I'm the founder of Fast Cat Coaching and the creator of the Coach Cat app. My company and I have been coaching cyclists for over 20 years, pros and masters, beginners, working men and women, and everyone in between. And here's the thing, I've lived this problem myself and have over 20 years of power data to prove it. When I was 35, my FTP was 350 watts, and by 45, it's down to 310. Now, at 54 years old, it hovers between 290 and 300 on a good day, but I'm working hard for it to be consistently yeah, right around 300 watts, especially with big sugar gravel coming up. Aging is real, but slowing down doesn't have to be. Let me explain the science and then show you six ways your training plan can beat Father Time. I'd like to introduce you to the tear and repair exercise physiology concept that's rooted in Hans Selye's general adaptation syndrome. Every time you do intervals or ride long or do a race, you're creating these little micro tears in your muscles, and it takes time to repair those muscles. It's perfectly natural. It happens for athletes of all ages, and it's how we get stronger. But for masters cyclists, the repair portion takes longer. Now, we're really good at tearing, but we have to face the physiological facts of the additional time it takes to repair our muscles. When we were younger, we had testosterone and growth hormone coursing through our veins, and we took for granted how quickly our muscles could recover, oftentimes overnight. But as masters athletes, the time to repair portion has increased due to age-related decline in our hormones. And if your training plan doesn't include enough recovery, you're going to risk overtraining, chronic fatigue, and a plateaued out FTP. And this is where many masters athletes get it wrong. We keep following the same plans we use in our 20s and 30s, even though our bodies have changed. I was guilty of the same thing until I took a hard analytical look at my own data and redesigned my plan to prioritize recovery and that's when my performance started improving again. And I've implemented that with all the training plans that are masters friendly in the CoachCat app and into our coaching philosophy when you hire a coach. And I especially notice this for newer masters athletes in their 40s who are for the very first time facing these physiological facts. Now, conversely, I see many 50 and 60 year old athletes who've done the hard look have adjusted their training plan and they're achieving breakthroughs. But gone are the days of five hard rides per week, 15 hour weeks, staying up late and not eating right. That's a fast track to burnout town, stagnation, frustration, and overtraining. If you want to ride faster as you age, you need to train smarter by following an age appropriate master's based training plan. Father time is the physiology and an age adjusted training plan is the way to beat father time. Okay, let's get tactical and talk about what makes a training plan masters friendly and age appropriate. Here's what I've seen work based on 20 years of coaching and analyzing tens of thousands of power files from masters athletes over the years. And a masters based training plan really needs to do two things. It needs to prescribe the right amount of training and include the right amount of recovery. And we do that in these six ways. Number one, Use age-adjusted intervals, as shown in my last video. For example, instead of doing six VO2s per workout, you're going to do less. You're going to do four or maybe three or even two. Number two is age-adjusted weekly total hours. As athletes in their 40s can really thrive on eight to 12 hours per week if their life allows. Athletes in their 50s really thrive on six to 10 hours. That's the sweet spot. Athletes in their 60s also thrive on even less, four to eight hours per week. And again, these are generalizations and every athlete is an individual and you may customize this based on the amount of recovery you're able to achieve from the training. Everyone's raising their hand. So let me know in the comments below of how much you train per week 
and then how well you find your recovery for that training because it is individualized. And that's what we do as coaches is we listen to the athletes and we monitor their recovery. But that's also what the Coach Cat AI does with the morning recovery analysis. It takes into account your sleep and your HRV and then asks you how you feel and you put those two together and then you edit your, your workout and the length of your ride to get a customized approach. But I digress. So the third way that you make a master's training plan master specific is the number of rest days per week. Two is ideal for master's athletes. And then you absolutely need to take a recovery week every fourth week or sooner. Do not skip. That is non-negotiable. The fourth way that we make a training plan master specific is a balanced amount of intensity and endurance. So for every hard workout, you also need one easy riding day. For two hard workouts per week, you need two easy riding days per week. And we're mostly talking zone two, and this is not to be confused with recovery day. So you need two recovery days per week, two zone two rides per week if you're doing two hard workouts per week. Strength training. This is non-negotiable for masters athletes. You absolutely need to lift weights every off season because it's imperative to maintain muscle mass, bone density, and your power output. Intervals and maintenance sessions year-round maintain those strength gains from the weight room, but be careful of the extra additional recovery time needed. And I recommend abstaining from weightlifting altogether, all forms during a very competitive phase. But presumably that is going to only last like 6 to 12 weeks, maybe 16 tops. And then the rest of the year you can lift. And then I really highly recommend a 10-week heavy lifting program. We'll get into that in future videos because it's going to be that time of the year. The sixth way that makes a master's training plan master specific is the use of a fatigue dependent training plan design. You're going to do your hardest workouts following rest days, and then you're going to do your easy workouts following your harder days. You're going to go with the grain of fatigue. Go look at our fatigue dependent training plan design podcast and, and training tip, and we'll provide more information over there. And finally, as I alluded to, you want to use Coach Cat's recovery analysis to make day to day changes based on your power data your sleep, and your HRV. Look at your AI recovery analysis every morning and ask yourself, how do I feel? And then you use those two together to edit the number of intervals and then also the length of your rod accordingly. Use the data, but you also listen to your body. In summary, the age-related decline in hormones increases the time it takes our body to repair muscle in the tear and repair model, and a successful strategy to keep improving is adopting an age-appropriate training plan. By following a master's friendly training plan, you can get faster as you get older, stay strong, and be competitive for decades. And if you want a training plan built specifically for masters that adjusts based on your recovery and wearable data, check out the CoachCat app. Our basic and intermediate plans are masters friendly, and using the app is like having your own personal coach 24 seven for data analysis and training plan revisions. You can download the Coach Cat app free for 30 days at fastcatcoaching.com, or you can hit the link below and start training smarter today. If you would like more help than our app provides, you can hire one of the Fast Cat coaches who will talk with you regularly and design an ultra age appropriate training plan for you. Thanks so much for watching. Please subscribe and leave a comment below telling me how many hours you train per week and how you've adapted your training to be more age appropriate. In the meantime, you know what to do work hard, ride fast, have fun. And as always, FTFP.